Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, December daily. Now, I sort of briefly went over some December daily things in a video, so if you have watched that, I'm kind of gonna go over some of the same things, but I wanted to combine this into one dedicated video for December daily. What I'm going to be using, all of that jazz, I have decided I'm going to use the Christmas junk journal that I've uh, gotten in a Christmas junk journal uh, swap years and years ago, many years ago. And uh, I've doctored it up with all sorts of my own designs. It's been altered by me on the inside even. It's a binder style. And I've had this for so long that I've decided that I really need to use it. Um, just to kind of go over it briefly, I have some charms kind of just hanging off the side. The whole front cover has been decorated by me using some wood veneer cuts. Uh, these little paper flowers. Um, I do have some supplies here, so a bunch of ribbon and doodads and takes that I want to use up. And then there's a bunch of printed images of Christmas themed things from old ads. I added this from an old PK order. Um, I added old Christmas cards from my childhood that are blank or ones that have been given to me by family, old packaging from beautiful things that I've gotten in the past for Christmas. Anything Christmassy has gone in here. This is an old gift bag. Oh, I don't even know from what, but I got it in London apparently. And looked Christmassy. Oh, it is Christmas. Um, old Christmas card from my childhood. I'll do a quick little flip for those who haven't seen it. So I've really added a bunch of stuff here and there throughout the years little uh there's like a little clothespin that's red belly band here with some old packaging from a matchbox yeah i've added a lot of things in here a lot of things were given to me from the swap change things around this is a card that a an old co-worker gave me i had an envelope a snoopy card that i had that i used to I like to keep one card from, you know, a box of cards that I really like because of a design, you know, or something like that. So lots of things. I don't know where this is from, but I guess I'll just stick it in here. And I plan on really having fun with this. It's chunky already, so I might take a few pages out. Um, this is an old National Geographic's image, and then a paper clip of a bird here, so I can just kind of stick stuff in under that. If you're wondering why I have this, is Toblerone is something I only buy at Christmas time, so I kind of added the packaging from an old one that I had. This is cut out from a Christmas card that I loved from one year that I sent those. It's very Victorian. Um, so lots lots to do i can switch out the pages i can change the order around but the plan is is to use this up so it doesn't just sit on my shelf for another year and very chunky all sorts of ribbony things i'll probably add more it's going to be very frilly very junk journaly um I've been missing junk journals lately, so this will kind of be fun to play with. And then supplies-wise, I did go through and declutter this whole pouch of things that I've been saving for years that I want to use up this year. And my hopes had been to use up a majority of the supplies. And then once I'm done, pretty much get rid of anything that I haven't touched because this has just been a an accumulation of years and years of just little bits and bobs that I've saved over many Christmases and I'm getting to the point where I'm just seeing the same supplies every year and I just need to move on so whatever I don't use from here I'm just gonna 
throw away or donate if it's like something that can be reused and then move on. So I have like old wrapping paper. I have these dollar spot stickers from Target that I love. I bought several sheets of these because I love houses. If you followed me for a while, you know. Um, I have cutouts from larger sheets of scrap paper, more paper. <laughs> um, I copied this from I Am a Bunny, but it's a Richard Scary book. It's one of my daughter's favorite books. I have a snowy scene. This is a newer acquisition, so these are snow globes. I love snow globes. So that's a newer item to use. Uh, more, oh, these are new too. I got from Hobby Lobby, these glitter dots. And this is from last year, I think, from Hobby Lobby. Also houses, these are puffy stickers. I have a vellum envelope that kind of looked Christmassy, so I thought might go more stickers. These are Target Dollar Spot stickers that had numbers, so I can use that to number uh, which days are which for when I journal. Um, I don't know where I got this from, but it's an old Courier and Ives print. And I love the scene, so I thought that would fit perfectly. And in previous years, my December daily were um, trace paper inserts, so this card had never fit in that. And I never wanted to alter this image, so having that larger size binder will be perfect so I can actually use that card. I've been saving that one for years. I have several uh, little Christmassy word stickers. I've had these for years, so I'm actually excited to just kind of use those up. I couldn't get rid of my Christmas stamps. I just love the images so much. So I'm hoping this year uh, is the year that I use them. Uh, some leftover Christmas stickers. I've had those for a long time. Seuss, I love the Grinch. Uh, so that's uh, a card from one of the years that I sent those out. And I just wanted to save the one for myself. Same with the Jane Austen Christmas card. So lots of little bits. These are little um, glassine bags with Jingle Bell lyrics on them. I have magazine cutouts of beautiful things. Uh, more stickers. This is from Sticky Club, this um, elf. And these are snow globes. These are the types of stickers that you can find in the card section of Target. These I both found at Target over the years. So. That's a great place to find Christmassy stickers, too. They usually are like seals for envelopes for cards, but I use them for stickers. I have a shaker pocket that a friend gave me. I plan on making my own shaker pockets for this December daily. I have some old recipe cards in here. So lots of little bits and bobs that have been saved over the years. Vintage Christmas cards that I acquired over the years. I'm hoping to just add those in because they just have beautiful images. Cavallini and Co. Christmas stickers. I kind of um, use those sparingly. And then more Christmas stamps that have a kind of like a retro look to it. I love that. And then a bit of fabric that a friend gave me for one year's December daily. I have... Um, a couple other stamps. I cut up my two favorite out of the set and I just donated the rest. I have some Christmas tape with trees on them. I actually quite like using this and I have a little bit saved enough for this year. And that's all I have left. I have a Christmas stamp. Makes me think of my daughter. That's why I bought this. Um, I got it off AliExpress. And then I have some Christmas ribbon that is actually biodegradable. It's actually, um, I think it's like made out of paper, 100% cotton, and it's got We Wish You a Merry Christmas lyrics on them. So I use that uh, for journaling. And then the new
newer items that I did acquire, I hadn't planned on it, but they were on sale and I can use these into next year, year after that, as part of like the newer items. And I'm gonna pull a few items from these are all the Tim Holtz Christmas things. Uh, like I said, Joann's had like a huge sale on them and they were very reasonable. So I decided to get um, things that I knew I was going to use. So lots of um, ephemera die cuts. So that's what I have. And then this is the small version of it. So this one is Christmas snippets. So just the tiny version of it. And the great thing about this is I can also use this in my personal journal, not just the Summer Daily. This one's called Layers, and it's got all of these images. Die cuts are so easy. Um, if you've watched my chit chat video, I mentioned that they can kind of become their own stickers. I will double side, uh, use double sided tape and pre stick them onto these die cuts of things that I know I'll use and I can, you know, when I'm, when it's time to use them, I can just peel it, stick it in, and then it's done. So there's a bit of prep work to that, but that's how I like to prep for it. Um, and I do that with any kinds of die cuts and photos. So I'll pre-stick them so they're just ready to go and I don't have to worry about a glue stick, which is really nice. So die cuts are great for that. And then I have these milk caps. These are fun. I have, I've never used them. Um, milk cap sort of uh, items for journaling but that will be fun to kind of add a bit of dimension and yeah and then the vintage flare which is very chunky they're just kind of like these buttons that just don't have the button portion of it but i love the images of these and if I don't end up using them for my journal, I can always turn them into magnets or something fun. So there's that. I have a little box of these little tokens. So they say Silent Night, Christmas Wishes, Naughty or Nice. Um, I don't know if this will zoom in, but those are the different sorts of sayings on them. Dear Santa, Merry and Bright, Happy Holidays. I could probably add a few more charms to my junk journal. I love vellum. If you followed me for a while, you know I love vellum and I love my clear elements. So this is a whole pack of those that are Christmas themed. And I'd mentioned in the uh, chit chat video that I love the snow images. Cause that reminds me of winter in the Midwest. So that, uh, I'm really excited to use this pack right here. And then finally, the Tim Holtz sticker book, which contains all sorts of these little sayings, which is really nice. I'm actually really into this. I'm going to be using a lot of these because I can use these to caption photos that I take of all the decorations that we're doing in the house this year, of things that my daughter is doing. So there's quite a few pages of these. And I wanted to show you guys all of these items too. So. If you are interested in any of the Tim Holtz Christmas things, Joann's has them. I don't know if anybody else carries them, but I know Joann's for sure. And if you shop their website, um, sometimes they have the promo for like free shipping or a, there's like a discount on shipping or something. Um, I happened to get it with the free shipping, so that was very reasonable. And, and then the outfits. So I've got plenty to work with. And then finally, I have, these are like the larger sheets of things. I have some magazine images. I've got a few more. I just pulled them out from magazines. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea of things that I use for my December daily and journals for Christmas is always, always magazine images. I love using magazines. I have several different papers. This one I got off of scrapbook.com, I think, earlier this year. It was on clearance or on sale. It was like a dollar, so I can cut these images out and use. And if I don't use it in mine, I can also use it in my daughter's journal. 
I love this design particularly, so I've been I've been using this one for, this is like my second or third year of using this, and I just kind of tear it out. I just like that torn look, but I just use the little cars, the birch paper. I had a couple sheets of these, and I turned that into a cover for my December daily last year. The little winter houses, and kind of like holly flowers. So these are the papers that I have cut down that I have to use left. And that's it. That's my December daily prep. I'm very excited to start. I can't believe it's only two weeks away. It's coming up quick. I had thought, you know, I gotta get that December daily video filmed. And then I looked at the calendar and I'm, you know, it's already mid-November. So I wanted to kind of get this filmed and ready to go so I can post other things. If you have any questions, let me know. And let me know if you're doing December daily. I'm excited. Uh, it's just, it's going to be so much fun. It's so much fun to have a little one running around and she's kind of more aware of things. And this year, we're just going to make it really special because we've just been home all the time. So uh, thank you so much for watching and happy journaling.